be sure to watch this one with the lights on. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest TV monsters. For this list, we're looking at the television creatures that creep us out the most, based on their grotesque physical appearances, spine-tingling characteristics, or any special abilities they may possess that have the potential to scare the living crap out of us. However, no anime characters will be found on this list, as we've already compiled a list of our favorite anime monsters. Number 10, Ebonites, The Outer Limits. Get away from me! Featured in an early episode of the series, the Ebonites are an alien race with heightened powers that allow them to manipulate the five senses. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! So, while these guys might not look as freaky as the other monsters on this list, they can completely mess with your brain. You know, that thing that controls your body? So they are not to be underestimated. Face left. Face left. March. Forward. March. The Ebonites can fill your mind with illusions as a form of mental torture. Any humans affected end up becoming suspicious of themselves and their current predicament due to the insidious mind games which have completely warped their emotional well-being and psychological state. You turned in your grandfather, didn't you? Uh, uh. He forgave you. Whether they're real or not, these space monsters scare us to the outer limits of our sanity. Your decision to cooperate was intelligent and brave. Number 9. The Infantata – American Horror Story ah! Aren't children adorable? In most cases, yes. <gasps> Mommy. But when we're talking about American Horror Story, odds are the answer will be a resounding no. Brutally dismembered as an infant as revenge for his father's abortion clinic, young Thaddeus Montgomery is mourned by his parents. They lived there with their son Thaddeus. That is, until the baby was kidnapped and found dismembered. However, Dr. Charles Montgomery can't accept his son's death and decides to stitch him back together piece by piece. The baby is upstairs and waiting for you in the nursery. Unfortunately, what comes back is not his son, but a murderous creature fans have come to call the Infantata. I thought he was hungry. I tried to nurse him, but it wasn't milk he was craving. Wrinkled and twisted, with black eyes and razor-sharp teeth, the Infantata has been locked in a basement for decades due to its relentless thirst for blood. A ferocious and animalistic monster that definitely makes you squirm. Number 8. The Pool Zombie – Are You Afraid of the Dark? Now relax, there's nothing down there. This might put you off swimming for a while. You sure it's okay? Yes. Just be careful. Waiting in the depths of a swimming pool that was built over an old cemetery, the pool zombie is a merciless spirit that preys on unsuspecting victims as an act of vengeance for the disturbance of his burial site. When they built the pool, they had to get rid of an old cemetery and move the bodies. At first taking a Jaws-like approach to the monster, the episode slowly builds it up as an ominous but unseen presence in the water. But once the pool zombie finally does show itself, you'll wish it had stayed underwater. Hideous in every sense of the word, its disheveled and decrepit appearance would make anyone's skin crawl. And we haven't even mentioned its nasty smell. Ugh. Oh. Hey, you. What is that smell? Number 7. The Fluke Man, The X-Files Found an alligator in the sewer a couple years ago. Stronger than hell, I'll tell you that, clamped onto me like a vice. If you thought the urban legend about alligators living in the sewers was freaky, wait till you get a load of this guy. The accidental result of cell fusion gone terribly wrong thanks to some radioactive waste 
this hellish abomination prowled the murky sewer system of New Jersey, viciously attacking any innocent people it came across. It was born in a in a primordial soup of radioactive sewage. Although its pale skin and sharp teeth are already spooky enough, it's what this monster can do to its victims that makes it truly terrifying. Through its bite, it can transmit larvae into the victim's body, where this parasite will feed on its host for nourishment. What may be worse is that this process is how the fluke man reproduces. It hadn't occurred to me, but I think that the fluke in the corpse might have been an incubating larva. This creature, or whatever it is, is transmitting its eggs or larvae through its bite. Number 6. The Gentleman, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You heard of a group called The Gentleman? Group of what? The Gentleman. Don't know. Is that? No. With their uncanny ability to float above the ground, The Gentlemen eerily glide their way onto our list. Striking fear into the hearts of anyone who gazes upon their pale demeanor, these killer humanoids are always dressed in nice suits and constantly grinning through their metallic teeth. They have the power to take away your voice, which is perfect for them, as that means you won't be able to scream when they cut out your heart. Oh, did we not mention? True to their name, they politely gesture to one another as they pass around a weapon to cut the hearts out of their victims, adding them to their collection. Number 5. The Smoke Monster, Lost What is the monster? What? The black smoke, the monster. What is it? I don't know. This imposing puff of smoke was a recurring threat to the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815, who resided on the mysterious island. What was that thing? It's a security system. Security system? What does that mean? Described as an alarm system for the island, the smoke monster was once a man just like any other. That is, until he was cast into the electromagnetic heart of the island and turned into… something. On top of being able to float and fly around at rapid speeds, this monster also has the seriously sinister skill to transform itself into anyone it's killed, taking on their physical form and their memories. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's why it's next to impossible to predict where and when it will strike next. And when it does, it'll likely be messing with people's psyches. It's good to see you out of those chains. You? Me. Number 4. The Monster, also known as the Demogorgon, Stranger Things You'll want to roll higher than a 7 to escape this fearsome creature. It was a 7. Huh? The roll. It was a 7. The Demogorgon. It got me. The name may be inspired by a Dungeons & Dragons character, but the audience is gradually shown a beast that is much more real and terrifying. Able to travel between our world and a bleaker and colder parallel one through portals, this monster sniffs out fresh blood to prey on the unsuspecting, whose only warning is the flickering of lights. You'd better hope you have something better than a wrist rocket to protect yourself. Do you seriously want to fight the Demogorgon with your wrist rocket? That's like R2-D2 going to fight Darth Vader! Perhaps a well-meaning telekinetic if you can find one. As for its victims, alive or dead, we're not sure what happens to them. But something tells us this story is just getting started. Number 3. Zombies, The Walking Dead <laughs> The namesake of the show, these popular undead antagonists make this particular universe a living hell. Christ promised the resurrection of the dead. I just thought he had something 
a little different in mind. Call them walkers, biters, lurkers, whatever. This incarnation of the classic zombie doesn't stray too far from the norm. <laughs> they like to do one thing and one thing only, chow down on anything they come into contact with. Created by some unknown virus that's lurking inside every human on the planet, they are dangerous in numbers, as they'll swarm a target and savagely bite and claw for a piece of meat. Follow me! Even if you aren't eaten by one, a bite is still devastating as it's only a matter of time before you join the ranks of the undead. Number 2. Weeping Angels – Doctor Who Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. Don't blink. If you ask the Doctor, these winged creatures are some of the most ancient, wicked monsters in all of existence. And he would know. A weeping angel, I mean, is the deadliest, most powerful, most malevolent life form evolution has ever produced. These stone statues are scary and incredibly strange, but they're different from more conventional monsters in that they usually won't just leech off their prey or straight up murder them. Instead, they'll transport their victims back in time to before they were even born and nourish themselves with the potential energy from the life the target would have lived. Fascinating race, the Weeping Angels. The only psychopaths in the universe to kill you nicely. No mess, no fuss, they just zap you into the past and let you live to death. Jeez, time paradoxes, eh? But this can all be avoided as long as you never take your eyes off of them, as they can only move to strike when you're not looking. What's that mean, it's a statue when you see it? The Weeping Angels can only move if they're unseen. So legend has it. That is one intense staring contest. I'm not blinking! Have you ever tried not blinking? Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. did not begin like this. They became this. Their DNA is only a half percent different than the mammal they originated from. Number one, White Walkers, Game of Thrones. In that darkness, the White Walkers came for the first time. They swept through cities and kingdoms Riding their dead horses, hunting with their packs of pale spiders, big as hounds. Tall, mean, tough as nails, and cold as ice. A White Walker from Game of Thrones could most likely scare any other monster on this list with just one intense glare from its deep, icy blue eyes. Along with their chilling appearance, the White Walkers are a formidable combat opponent for the heroes of the Seven Kingdoms, as their crystal swords are able to destroy steel. Well, all but Valyrian steel, that is. As if that's not enough, they can also reanimate their fallen opponents into zombie-like creatures called Whites, who are equally fierce fighters. These abominable snowmen terrorize those who live north of the Wall, and for that, they are our pick for the scariest TV monster. Do you agree with our list? Which TV monster scared you the most? <laughs> For more chilling top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.